Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. In today's video, we're gonna do a real cool retro paint job. Let's call it the California Crossfade. Let's begin. So this paint job we're working on today is, uh, I don't know, it's nothing new. Some of you older boys might recognize it. I was checking to see if I had some wire wheels for this thing and I don't, but I have the next best thing. Those are gonna look pimp for sure. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Something like that. We got our base and axle tubes and everything kind of mocked up inside what I'm calling the RD1000. Bust out a little bit of Starbond medium and I got some accelerator. Of course, Jimmy 10 will save you 10% on all Starbond products. Keep that in mind. Let's unstrap this beast. Hell yeah. It's gonna go really good with our retro paint job we're doing. To start off our paint job here, we're gonna use a little bit of silver sealer and we're gonna hit this with some tequila yellow. These little vinyl strips I cut out on my vinyl cutter. I kind of just make sheets of them just for doing stuff exactly like this. I think she's looking pretty good right now. You're kind of getting a sense of what things are going to look like at this point. I got a couple more stripes to put on here yet. I ran out of one mil strips, and so we're just gonna have to bust open a brand new sheet here. I make these on my vinyl cutter, if anyone's wondering. It's just a bunch of strips of different sizes, and I got circles at the bottom for masking stuff. I use them quite a bit, actually, the little circles.
We're gonna head over to the spray booth right now and our next color is gonna be some dirt track brown and I'm gonna do the fade from the nose all the way to the trunk. All right, we got a pretty wild fade happening here. Just snip these. So what we're doing here would work with uh, flames or any other kind of pattern really. It doesn't have to be stripes. I chose stripes because it's super easy. We're going to use this very same dirt track brown and I'm going to go in and I'm going to fade our stripes again all the way to the back and it's going to look really sweet. When I started this video, I actually, uh, I called this thing a 6.4 Impala, but it's a 63. I don't know what I was thinking. I was kind of vibing to some easy E in my head while I was getting this thing ready. So it's a 63, my apologies. Isolating our side trim here a little bit. I'm gonna just hit that with some Quicksilver Chrome. It's gonna add a little extra pizzazz to our paint job before I go to clear coat. This is going to look so good. I was using a little bit of wash here just to try to dirty this up just enough where it looks a little bit more realistic. Here's the 63, she's looking pretty darn good. I really like how warm the colors look. Everything kind of went together real nice at the end there. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you think. These cars are so easy to make look nice. So until next time, leave a like to support the channel, say hello in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.